milliseconds. So for example here, if I grab these values here and I set them to 50, 50 would correlate to five milliseconds. If we go down here, let's do to 30. 30 would be three milliseconds. If we did it to 20, it'd be two milliseconds. 10 would be one millisecond. Now, that's going to be pretty straightforward and it seems like it would work the way that is, but different size injectors flow completely different amounts and they're gonna have completely different injector pulse widths associated with that flow rate. So for example, at two milliseconds on a 200 cc injector, we're gonna be delivering a completely different amount of fuel compared to a 2000 cc injector at a two millisecond operating position or point. So what we have to do is set the background multiplier up for this table accordingly. If we can see here, as we're uh, looking at the table, if I go from a value of 10 to a value of 11, we can see that's going to go and change my injector pulse width here to 1.1 and I go to 12, it's 1.2. Um, what we're going to be finding is that'll be okay to control um, a really small injector, but if we're trying to control a really large injector, we're going to run out of room really fast because we want to be able to have very small changes here for the numbers in the table. We want to have more resolution. So what we have to do is have a multiplying factor. Let's change this back to 100. That's going to effectively rescale our relationship between this 100% multiplier against this injector pulse width. Let's go ahead and click, click escape and jump down into our general setup and then into fuel and then into setup. And what we're going to be finding is this is injector scaling factor is going to be what that background multiplier is. So again, 100% multiplier is equivalent of 10 milliseconds. And if we change that value up or down, it's going to have that linear relationship to this uh, 10 millisecond range. Now, if we install a really, really big fuel injector, we're most likely going to have to decrease this injector scaling because we need to have more usable resolution in the table. So what we could do in this case, if we have something like a 2000cc injector that we know is going to be uh, running at a much lower injector pulse width,